my goodness! Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent us? Dinosaur, dinosaur! <laughs> oh no! They've sent us back in time! To the land of the dinosaurs! How are we going to get home again? Let's not panic. There's an answer to everything. OK, we're stuck in the land of the dinosaurs. 65 million years in the past. So, what's the answer? I'm thinking. I have an idea. I might be able to magic the school back. It's worth a try. Abracadabra! The main thing is not to panic. Ah! The school's gone. Shall we start panicking now, Mum? Yes. It's the school. Hooray! Welcome back, everybody. Oh, there's no one here. Trapped in the land of the dinosaurs with no way back. Don't worry, there must be an answer. Think, Mrs Elf, think! What's that? Is it a dinosaur? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a cave woman. <laughs> shoes, shoes. Wait a minute, it's Mrs Fotheringill. The lost teacher. I've been stuck here for ages. Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes, the Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyle things. <coughs> leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs Fotheringill? Do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following her. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look, there's loads more of them. Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! Hold on! We're almost at the little castle. Thank goodness! The window's open! Hmm, bit of a draft in here. Let's close the window. Yeah! Goodness me! Wise old elf, what are you... Ah, my jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in. What are you playing at? Shh. What's going on? Bees, bees. Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees too, but it turns out they're quite useful. Shush. Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. Well, I don't want them on my castle. Shh! If the bees notice us, they'll follow me again. Oh, I see. Well, why didn't you say so? Hello, bees! He's over here! Cooey! Ah! Get me out of here! Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby Bee. <laughs> Hello, Bobby, Bobby Bee. Bee. This is my pet, Archie the Ant. <laughs> Hello, Archie. Hello there. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree green fly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, 
You remember Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? Whoa! <gasps> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly. Morning, Morning Miss Jolly. Jolly! Everyone on time, good show. Well done, Archie. Nice posture, Stanley. <laughs> She's funny. Chin up, Bobby. That's better. Let's face the future like we mean it. Aha! A new pet. Wonderful. Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well, oh. Now, Mr Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. <laughs> Oh, another rabbit. Ooh! Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity! And another rabbit. And, um, another. And another. And another. Tweety another. birds! And Tweety another. birds! Oh, my! Birds! Where did they come from? Out of your hat! Stop it, Strawberry! But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly! Jelly! It's a jelly flood! Jelly flood! <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Party food! We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh, I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh no! The birthday cake! <laughs> There he is! Naughty Gaston, come here! Well, well. He's stuck in the icing! Don't worry, Gaston, we'll rescue you! Oh, now I'm stuck! Ah, I'm stuck as well! I'm stuck too! <gasps> Time for the cake! Keep still! Pretend to be toys! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy! Lucy. <laughs> Now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Da! Wow. A pink unicorn! <laughs> My wish came true! That's amazing! Uh, right, everyone. Home time! <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony! <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <laughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> <laughs> and these are their children. Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, <laughs> oh, look. They are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. 
Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. Bye. Nanny Plum. Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum, I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Ooh, fish swimming through the air. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Grandpa, Papa, 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 Papa. Bless me, it's the twins. You found me at last. Grandpa. And Holly, my dear, did I win the game? Hello, Dad. Have you really been hiding there all year? If a game's worth playing, it's worth playing right. Hello, Victor. Cedric, old bean. This is my best friend. Delighted to meet you, Ben. Don't ask him about his hobbies. What's that? Hobbies? You want to hear about my hobbies? Uh, well... Did you know I've been doing some inventing? Yes. Last year you showed us your jam trousers. Did I? What about my custard shoes? Those too. Oh, I've taken up lots of new hobbies, like woodwork. Sounds quite harmless. Here's a wooden chair I made. It looks surprisingly like an ordinary chair. Yes, but then I asked myself, why should a chair have legs and not be able to walk? Here, boy. It can walk. Yes, indeed. Oh! <laughs> it doesn't like being sat on. No, th that's the problem with walking chairs. And also, I've been doing some gardening. Gardening? That sounds relatively safe. I asked myself, why should a tulip have leaves? Why not hands or even feet? And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs! I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten? Water, they'll follow it. I'm an egg. Come in, chickens. The water's lovely and warm. I'm an egg. They're following the egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. That has to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. You see, it's all quite simple when you're an old cow hand like me. <gasps> What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a cowboy in his underpants before? Wow, the chickens really like picking up flowers. They're eating machines, leaving nothing but mud. Yes, are you sure the king said he wants chickens at the little castle? That's what Daddy said. I want chickens at the little castle. Very well then, saddle up. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. Wagons are a-rolling, west we are going. We're in the Badlands. Badlands? It's the meadow. We'll stop here for the night. Get the wagons in a circle. Let's keep these chickens safe. Ah, sleeping outdoors with a campfire. Life doesn't get better than this. Unless you're home in bed, watching television. Talking of home, we'd better phone the king. Hello? Hello, King Thistle. We're almost there, but we need to camp out for the night. Wow! How long can it take to deliver one egg? Don't 
Don't worry, Daddy. You'll have your chicken by the morning. My chicken? What does Holly mean by that? Bedtime, everybody. Nanny, you keep watch. What do I have to do? Keep watching the chickens and do not fall asleep. Righto! Easy now, Speedy. Steady, boy. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Well done, Cowboy Ben. Yee-haw! So, young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot on! Trot on! <laughs> Let's go snail riding! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride, what? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly? Samson the Slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert. Snail alert. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr Hedgehog. Oh, a hedgehog. <laughs> He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes. Some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Hey, what do you mean? Uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow, eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter? Shh! Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. Ha <laughs> ha I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> There's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. <laughs>
been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs Witch to stone. <laughs> That's it. I've won. I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Ah. Uh... Working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. <coughs> Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. <coughs> he smells awful. <coughs> Wow, Mrs Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs Witch is the winner. Yay! We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! I'm glad Mrs Witch won. The Little Kingdom wouldn't be the same without Mrs Witch. Yes. Mind you, Wendy Witch did have a point about the cat. It does rather smell and it's... What was that? It, uh, is a most lovely pussycat. Thank you, King Thistle. I do love my Moggy. Meow. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> <gasps> Big people are coming! Shall we hide? I don't think we can. We're too big. What shall we do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just Lucy. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry, you look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it... A block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh... Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie, catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin. <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, I threw it too far. Don't worry. I've got it. Ooh. Wow. You can run really fast. And jump really high. That's because I'm an elf. <laughs> That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was that a talking animal? Help! Help! Rex, come back! <laughs> Rex, no! Naughty dog! <laughs> hello, Lucy. Oh, hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> here I am. Naughty! 
Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny. <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex a little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. <laughs> Barry's saying that he knows where the mermaids live and he'll take us there. That's what his brother wants. His brother? That's you, Dad. Oh, yes. <clears throat> um, Barry, old brother, please lead us to the land of the mermaids. Follow that fish. Right ho. Look, Barry's found the mermaids. Mermaids love to swim along. Mermaids sing their mermaid song. Mermaids comb their lovely They sing so beautifully. Where Oceana lives. Diving suits on, everybody. <laughs> nice, Barry. Ah, uh, we're friends of your brother. Yes, they're with me. Mermaids, mermaids everywhere. Hello, hello, mermaids. We're looking for Oceana. She's over there, being sad. <laughs> Oceana, we brought your mirror back. Oh, thank you so much. But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. <laughs> there you go. My mirror, thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been... Uh... Very interesting meeting you, uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Betty. Um, you know how the mirror suddenly got big again? Well, that happened to me and my dad. Yep, and the fun bit is you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Ooh, I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Interesting fact about Vikings, all they ate was Spam. I don't think that is correct. It's true! Vikings ate Spam. It was on the telly. Uh, Nanny, what happens when the frogs turn back into Vikings? They'll be very confused and maybe a tiny bit annoyed. Right, let's make sure we're not around when that happens. Wow, look at all those frogs. And what's this? Sorry about this, but I'm going to have to turn you all into frogs. Just for a bit. Eh? Frog time! Nanny, why are there still bangs going on in the other rooms? Well, it was 
was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back too. Right. I think this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out of here. Ah! All aboard. Keep together, children. Back on the bus. Next stop, the Little Kingdom. Last stop. Everybody off. Oh. Well, all in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the... Oh, this is ridiculous. Why don't you add some dragons for good measure? Oh, that's a good idea, wise old elf. Dragons! <laughs> So this is basketball. What a fun game. Well done, wise old elf, for suggesting it. But, but, but... Game over. What's the score, Nanny? What score would you like? Can we have a hundred million? OK. A hundred million points to this team. Hooray! Can we have a hundred million too? Yes. A hundred million points to that Hooray! team. Oh, that means it's a draw. Hooray! Oh, what a great Father's Day this has been. It'll be hard getting back to my work tomorrow. Yes, it'll be hard getting back to my food deliveries again. Oh, the deliveries. Uh, I'm afraid it all went a bit wrong today. Mrs Peach wanted an orange and Nanny gave her broccoli. And I think I gave Mr Egg a peach. Or was it the other way round? It'll take weeks to sort this out. I'm quite looking forward to it. I really enjoyed Father's Day. It's a shame it's over. There's still a tiny bit of Father's Day left, Papa. I'll read you a bedtime story. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. Ready? Once upon a time... A big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed and he puffed. And then there was a loud knock on the door. Who could that be? said the princess. With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, the pirates set sail across the deep blue sea. Does the story have to be about pirates? Not about pirates. What else could the story be about? How about Vikings? Oh, OK. Vikings, then. The Vikings set sail across the deep blue sea. And on the way, they met a pirate! Yo-ho-ho! -ho! <laughs> Even the animals. Animals? <laughs> Whoa! Ah, an alien monster! Don't worry, it is just a flobber gurgle twat splog. It is a pet. <laughs> oh, the flobber gurgle twat splog is so cute. <laughs> Mummy, can we take the flobber gurgle thwart splog back home with us? Please? I think it is much happier living here, darling. Oh. Um, when do we go to the beach? Now, we will take the lift. Lovely big beach. But where's the sea? There is no sea. So where can we swim? Nowhere. There is no water. Not for swimming, not for drinking, not for anything. Nothing but sand. Yes, just sand and sand and sand and sand and sand. Yes, Planet Bong is sand and sand and sand. Planet Bong is a door. So, this isn't a holiday? No, it's a rescue mission, Your Majesty. Yes! Smarty Pants is here to save us! Please, Smarty Pants, make the plants grow. Uh, yes. 
I've given this problem a lot of thought, and I believe that I, Smarty Pants, have the answer. Good! So, without further ado, I will hand over to my fairy helper. Me? Yes. Just magic the plants up, would you? Oh, right. It is very excellent. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, please do the rest of the planet. What? The whole planet? And we need duck legs. Oh, really? Then duck legs it is. Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front. <laughs> that breathes fire. Are you sure it looks right? Hmm. Maybe we should add chicken wings. <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's take it for a walk. Walkies! <laughs> What an awful noise. Morning, wise old elf. How do you like our boat? Ah! It looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Everyone, have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at, and this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. <laughs> And the legs? Uh, my idea, Your Majesty. I thought of the chicken wings. <laughs> I am going to be a complete laughing stock. I can't wait to see what King Thistle's boat looks like. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? <laughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. What about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop, Elf. Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. What? Go faster! All right! How are you getting on, Your Majesty? <laughs> Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has arrived to start our harvest dance! Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. <laughs> Righto, what do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! Right. Well, that's as good a time as any to finish my day's work. How many gold coins have I earned? For being a sailor, you earned one gold coin. But for sinking the ship, we'll have to take it back. For working in the factory, you earned one gold coin. 
but for causing a dark flood, we'll have to take it back. And for working on the farm, you earned one gold coin. Ah, oh, it's so nice to stand on something that isn't moving. Redbeard, do islands normally have fins? Not as a rule, no. What about eyes? Hardly ever. It's lovely being on dry land. Uh, I think you should come back now. No, I want to stay here. Pick me up on the way home. Nanny Plum, hurry! I'm not leaving this island. I wouldn't exactly call that an island. Why not? Because it's a fish and a whopping big one. It's Big Bad Furry. Ah, help me. Don't worry, you're in no danger as long as he doesn't think you're food. Like a fly or something. Ah. Nanny does look like a fly. Ah, I'm not a fly. I'm not a fly. Ah, get away. Don't let Barry. Flap your wings so much, Nanny! Fly faster, Nanny! Oh, nanny, don't look so like a fly, will you? Ah! Ah! Nanny, catch hold of the hook! Oof! Now she looks a bit like a worm on a hook! Ooh, fish like eating worms! I'm not a worm! I'm not a worm! Whoops! Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to use a fishing rod! Ah! Hang on, Nanny! I'm pulling you in! Ah! And how's me sweet darling? Not having a very good day, are you? Not having a good day? Not having a good day? A fish just tried to eat me! Yep, those sailors were definitely right about the woman on board bad luck stuff. Bug! Coming towards us! Fog? That's bad. Can we go home now? No, we've got more adventuring to do. I can see... Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. Aww, it's so sweet. <laughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <laughs> bad ladybird. <laughs> What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw! What about Dave? Dave the Dragon! Yay! Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. What do you want, Gaston? Oh, all right. Fetch the stick. Wow! Aren't you clever, Dave? He wants his tummy tickled. Aww! How cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny! Nanny! Hello, you two. <laughs> ah! A baby dragon. <laughs> his name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. One last present to deliver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oof. Let me out! Let me out! <sighs> that chair looks comfy. 
I'll just have a little sit down. Ugh, I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. The dots have stopped moving. Father Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, to the elf helicopter. I only hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered. Look, Mummy, a present. We'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lucy! That's Dad. I don't think your dad could take all this. Everyone hide, quickly! Hide? Who has to hide? Um, um, Merry Christmas, darling. Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oh, oof! At last! I'm out of that cracker! What? What is that? It's King Thistle. He's our friend from the Little Kingdom, Dad. Ah! Magical weirdness! It's happening again! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Allow me the honour of reading you the cracker joke. What's at the North Pole and has two humps? Hmm. A lost camel. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. I wrote it myself. <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo, shoo. Go away, mole. Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello? <laughs> Hooray! Yes. Moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why I've brought the magic picnic basket. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! Oh, I'm actually very hungry. Oh, have you not eaten either? Not today. Oh, dear, it's empty. <laughs> it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. Magic basket, please. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! I get the idea. Magic basket, please. 20 poached eggs. Lots of toast. Nine jars of jam. 40 sausages and 90 pancakes. Yippee! What a splendid... Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, look. He's picking up an acorn. Sound the acorn alarm, Mr Elf. What's going on? It might be Acorn Day. What's Acorn Day? Not now, Princess Holly. Calling all elves. Acorn Day has begun. Don't panic. Please leave the elf tree immediately. It's probably a false alarm. Yes, hopefully it's just a practice. There he goes, Mrs Elf! Mrs Elf! Hello? Oh! Oh! Don't panic, Mrs Elf. Just hand it back. Get out of there, Mrs Elf. Quickly! 
Will somebody please tell me what's going on? One day every year the squirrels come and store their acorns in the great elf tree. We call that day Acorn Day. What's so bad about squirrels storing acorns? Yes, they need to store their food for winter. And it's just an acorn. One acorn would be OK. But there are many squirrels and they have many acorns. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop him, wise old elf. It's not your fault, Mrs Elf. There is no stopping them once they've started. What do we do now? Now we wait. You see, after one squirrel has put its acorn in the tree, another will come and copy it. Squirrels are very good at copying. <laughs> Everyone is here, even Gaston's brother Tony with Pam and the little ladybirds Amber, <laughs> Emerald <laughs> and Keith. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle, King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's my birthday party? You said you didn't want a party. I know I said that, but what I really meant was I do want a party. Oh, Daddy. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. <laughs> Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. <laughs> Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. <laughs> For me, how kind. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. What's that noise? Happy birthday! Oh! Hooray! Happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, oh thank you, Holly. <laughs> Look! It's him! It's Big Bad Buddy! What a fish! We'll be eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese! Start the engine! Full sail! We're not going anywhere! Yes, we are! Bad Barry is pulling us backwards! Hang on! We've got him! We've got him! I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right! We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry! He's too big! He's too bad! We have to let him go! Never! Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the lime! Ah! Uh, then he can have it. I give it. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah! He's eating Banty! <laughs> Launch the lifeboat! <laughs> Abandon ship! Women, children and kings first! Oh, Banty! Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? <laughs> oh! What's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Bunty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. 
Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like fish fingers. With chips! <laughs> <laughs> It's not an earthquake. Yeah. It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, your majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be dis... To a mouse. I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. The great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousy, mousy! Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the ones in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, uh, actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magicked the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. Oh, no, it's gone quiet. They're up to something. Let's take a look. Hello? Hello! There's no one here. Just our wands. Oh, it's good to have you back again. Uh, Nanny, now you have your wand again, would you mind, um... Of course, oh great wizardo. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Oh! So where be the poor little toddlers? I was afraid of this. Daisy and Poppy have found the secret passageway. Ooh. Where does the secret passageway go? To the secret room. I never knew we had a seat. Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs, something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface! Naughty octopus! Stop eating! Stop at once, I say! Ah, <laughs> uh, 
my boat! Eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a Giant Octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry, I said I'd take responsibility, and I will. And? That's it. I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes, so I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. It's not meant to be pretty. It's a raft. I know what a raft is. Where's the bathroom? Is it downstairs? Ah, there isn't a downstairs. Don't be too harsh on Nanny. She doesn't know as much about rafts as us sailors. By the way, where's the kitchen? Is that downstairs too? Yes, it's probably next to the sitting room. This is a raft. There aren't sitting rooms and kitchens and bathrooms. It's not very luxurious then, is it? No, it's not. But it will get us home. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all. And I married him. The end. My Goodness! That was a surprise ending. Where are they? Oh dear. I think the king has found them. Oh! Where did this come from? Really? What a fuss over such a little creature. Ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, froggies, this way. <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. <laughs> Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play? Or... Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Oh, what is it now? Nanny! I want a snack! Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha! Jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely! What is it? Jelly. <gasps> oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, ho, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Can somebody answer the phone? I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. 
Uh, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. I'll rescue a go. Little jelly thing. Elf rocket A OK. Elf plane A OK. Elf helicopter A OK. Thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! Thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, oh, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Can I celebrate by turning you into a frog? Don't even think about turning me into a frog. But it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course, the emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time! Yes! The day is nearly over! Ah! The magic is back! And the elf engine is working again! Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah! I'm glad the elf engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Ha! Ah. So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh. Abracadabra. Ah, oh, good. The magic is back. And the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! 